The aftermath of U.S. and Mideast allies' missiles that bomb sites in Syria known as strongholds of terrorists with the Islamic State. And once again, it must be clear to anyone uh, who would plot against America and try to do Americans harm that we will not tolerate safe havens for terrorists who threaten our people. This is happening because uh, I believe the whole world should be united in defeating ISIS and other terrorist organizations that are targeting not only Christians, but Christians, Muslims, and everyone else. Actually, they are targeting uh, humanity at large. Patriarch Ignatius Aftam II is going home to Damascus this week as the supreme head of the Universal Syrian Orthodox Church. He says he has mixed feelings about the airstrikes. I hope and pray that innocent people will not be caught in the middle and will not be targeted. That was my fear. A year ago, the Patriarch told NJTV News he opposed airstrikes or warned Syria as the world debated whether Syria's leader had used chemical weapons on his own people. Twelve days ago, the Patriarch and other religious leaders from the Middle East met with President Obama at the White House. I told him there is a great need for peaceful solution uh, for the crisis in Syria. People are fed up with uh, death, destruction, and killing. They want peace. The mayor of Prospect Park is a Syrian native who delivers humanitarian relief to his homeland. He supports the airstrikes with cautious optimism and wants the coalition to go beyond the terrorists. ISIS needs to obviously be uh, dealt with once and for all. Uh, but again, the instability in the region, the, uh, the crackdown of, of the Assad regime on, on the Syrian people is what caused this instability. Overnight, U.S. F-18 Hornets took off from the USS George H.W. Bush aircraft carrier, and missiles took out terrorists who used their religious beliefs to justify the killings of innocents. I don't believe any religion calls for violence against people. True religion is religion that promotes the well-being of uh, human beings. As His Holiness prepares to return home to Damascus, he says the campaign against the terrorists does not need to be long and drawn out, so long as countries in the region unite and cut off all supplies and support to the terrorists. Michael Hill, NJTV News.